Howdy ho stampers! Deb Felder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and today I'm going to show you how to do the cotton ball puff technique. This card is absolutely gorgeous. You can't see it, but right in here um, you have a very raised image, and underneath here is a cotton ball. I also did it with our new um, bird stamp set right here, and this little cardinal right here is raised. I also did it, um, this one is done with blendabilities. They're all done with blendabilities, but I did this one with the cherry cobbler, and this one is done with the um, coastal cabana. So um, let me just show you where I got the idea from. When I first started out to be a demonstrator, um, this card was given to me from um, another demonstrator, and I just absolutely loved it. And underneath here is our cotton. It just makes the little baby puff up. Remember that stamp set? And then do you all remember this little snowman? This is one that I had done um, years ago. And again, underneath here is um, some cotton balls. So it makes the whole image raise up a little bit higher. So let me show you how I did that. I'm going to show you how to do this card right here um, with, the, uh, with the ovals and with our stamp set that is um, one of our hostess sets. And right now I'm running a special until July 15th. So if you'd like to get in on that special, hop on over to my blog and you can see how to get this hostess set. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with um, just an oval. Um, and I cut this out with our ovals framelits. I also cut out a black one, but this is what I cut out the oval with, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our Memento ink, because when you're using blendabilities, you definitely need Memento ink. So I'm just going to stamp this up, and there we go. Perfect, perfect. Okay, now we're going to start to do our blendabilities. Now what I like to do with my blendabilities is start out with the color lifter, believe it or not. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to... Just color the whole thing in. This pre-moistens the image, and it makes the blending a little bit easier and a little bit faster. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yellow, and I'm going to add my yellow to it. I've been doing this a lot lately, and I really do like this look, is to add a base layer of my yellow. Now for this one, I'm going to take, and instead of doing the Wisteria Wonder, I'm going to use the... Um, I'm going to use the Knight of Navy um, blendabilities, and I'm going to start off with my lightest color first, which we always do, and I'm just going to put my base coat on just like this, leaving some of the yellow showing, leaving some of the white. Now I call this the 3 2 one method. Um, I put um, three-thirds of this, or color the whole thing with the light lighter base, and then the middle one is my two-thirds, so I'm going to cover up just two-thirds of this and leave the last for my one-third is going to be uh, my darkest color. And like I said, I do it, I do it full coverage, then I do it um, lighter coverage. Let me get the, uh, I like to use the brush end of these. I just think they work a little bit better. Okay, we're just going to color in these. This is the Knight of Navy. And what I like about these new blendabilities is that we've got um, seam binding ribbon that matches. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now we need to start to blend. So I go back to my original color, my lighter color, my lighter blue, and just start blending in. You, you don't want any um, rough edges, so we're just going to take and we're going to blend this in. And what I'm doing is kind of blending the darker into the lighter, and that's why I put a little base on there because it just makes it look so much nicer. And then I'm going to go in with the color lifter and just lift off a little bit of color. I'm not too worried about... Um, the colors on this right now because I'm more getting to the technique but I just wanted to show you how I did blend there we go okay good enough for now uh, let me just throw on a little bit of my green so I'm going to take the lighter old olive and then just lightly touch on it with um, my darker and I just put a little bit in there just to give it a, a little bit of depth Okay, good, good, good. Alrighty, take my little color lifter. There we go. It just kind of moves the color around. I don't know, I don't think it takes it all the way off. It just kind of 
moves the color around. There we go. Nice. And when it dries, it does dry a little bit, um, a little differently as far as color goes. Alrighty, so now what we need to do is my technique. So this is what I call the cotton puff uh, technique. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our little mat right here, and this is the one that's kind of spongy, and we're going to up, put our, um, no, actually we're going to put it right side up. We're going to take our, our image, and we're going to take our embossing tool right here. And I use the skinny side, but I want you to start with the light, the, the heavier side, with the wider side, because um, I don't want you to... to um, I don't want you to uh, rip a hole into your paper. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking and just outlining my image, okay? So when I did my bird, I outlined the entire image right here. I just outlined the whole thing. This one, I'm just outlining the flower, just like this. All right, that's all you have to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over. Now, if we weren't using blendabilities, you wouldn't be able to see any of this. That's why, like for the little baby, um, you want to outline the whole thing because when you turn it over, you wouldn't be able to see it. So what I want you to do is to outline this so that when you do turn it over, you do see where um, you're working with. And I don't know if you can see these little lines right around here, but those are the ones we just embossed. Now what you're going to do is go with the picture. And what I mean with that is, is don't just scribble it in. I'm just kind of um, going with petal by petal and I'm dry embossing the back end of it. Now be careful because with our blendabilities, if you're using one that you're doing blendabilities, it is still very wet. So you don't want to break up the fibers too much. What we're trying to do is just to emboss it so it goes toward the beginning. Now I know you're probably saying, well I've done that before. Yes, but if you haven't put the cotton ball on the inside, you'll notice that it crushes down. So that's why the um, embo or the cotton ball is very important. And now when you rub your hand over it, you don't even need to rub your hand over it. You can see how nice and light and absolutely gorgeously raised that is. It's just an elegant, elegant thing. Now what you want to do is you want to take a cotton ball and I want you to take one of the littlest, tiniest ones you want and you don't want a whole lot of cotton ball. You, if you have too much, it's going to look it's going to look ridiculous. So what I want you to do is to just take a little piece. Let's get out our um, silicone mat, and the next thing that we're going to do is to take our uh, fast fuse, and um, we're going to uh, put our fast fuse right over all of this. You want to make sure you go over the flower because that's very important when we turn it over, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm going over my flowers, making sure I get good, good, good coverage, okay? And then just put a little bit around um, on the outside. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do um, is we're going to take um, just a little pieces of these, okay? So we're going to take a little piece and put it there, and it's, there's glue on it, so it's going to stay. I'll take another little very, very tiny piece, that's way too much, and we're going to put it right in the middle of this one right here. And then, now remember, you've got adhesive all the way around here, which is very, very important. Um, I'm just checking to make sure it's there. And then what I did was I cut out a larger oval, and I actually used my paper piercing tool and my paper um, piercing mat, and I just um, outlined my oval. I like to do it so that I pierce it on this side, and the little things that are sticking up on the, the outside um, are right here. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to center it onto my oval. And... Once that's centered, I'm going to kind of just tap it down. You don't want to tap inside there because you don't want to crush it. Even though there is, um, even though there is some nice uh, cotton ball on the inside there, we just don't want it to um, go. We don't want it to go in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, my embosser again, and I'm going to just emboss all the way around again. And what this is doing, it's adhering the outside of this flower to the inside. Um, of the card. So it's it's actually just making this raise up even harder. We're, what we're doing is we're actually embossing it so that this part lays down flat and this part raises up even more. Do you see how I did that? Isn't that kind of neat? All right, and then all we have to do is add it to our card. So here I have my um, my just my white card base and I'm going to add my fast fuse to that. You can use snail Fast Fuse. I like Fast Fuse now because I've gotten over the uh, shock of how to use it, and um, it just holds so well. So I'm going to lay that on there like that, and then I'm going to take my stamp set and put my um, words down here at the bottom, and I know just the person I'm going to give this card to. 
When I need a friend, you are there. I had someone at my demonstrators meeting this weekend um, do such a wonderful thing, so I wanted to give this card to her. And now I'm going to take my matching. This is what I said, our brand new um, seam binding um, that matches our blend abilities. This is the Knight of Navy, and I used the whole Knight of Navy set on here. And I'm just going to take and make um, a nice little bow on the top of it. And once we are done, that is our card. It is such an amazing technique. And like I said, you can do it with flowers, you can do it with snowmen, you can do it with any outline stamp at all. And I love using the blendabilities with it because it just lends itself absolutely gorgeous to that. Let me just trim off these ends right here. And I think we are just about done. So here you have it. This is the card that I did with um, the Hostess set. Here's one in Wisteria Wonder, and here's one done with Knight of Navy, again with the blendabilities. And then here is um, my Coastal Cabana bird, and then here is my um, Cardinal. And they are just absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed my post. Come back soon, and if you have any questions, let me know. Take care. Have a great day.